So I'm not saying that this man right here is a narcissist, y'all. I promise you I'm not saying that. But listen to what he says about how he's trying to survive his infidelity where he had a baby outside of his marriage. So listen to it, and then we're going to come back. We're going we're gonna to chat about it. We're going to have a little chat. Marriage. Ooh. It's tough. How long have you been married? Seven years. When I first got married. Two kids? Two by my wife. What? Why you say it that way? <laughs> two by... Oh, I'm, I'm, over, I'm overcoming. I'm overcoming this adversity. What? You I'm have two by your wife, which means you got some other ones. I have one more. How old is that one more? Little. He is turning two in December. Ah, Exceeding, excelling, nice. and overcoming. I, I, I'm surviving it. I'm two years past. You're not surviving it. It's I'm, something that you did. Oh, def most definitely. He said he's surviving. This right here, y'all. And that's what a lot of narcissistic, toxic people will try to do when they stay in a relationship and somebody forgives them for cheating on them and having a baby by someone else. I'm surviving. It's a struggle, you know, trying to get the trust back and stuff like that. I'm, I'm, I'm overcoming adversity. Like, did you create it? And you hear the other guy whose podcast it is, he correct him. It's like, it's not really... You created this. You you doing this right here. And he's like, oh, yeah, I am. Again, I'm not saying that that man is a narcissist, y'all. But a lot of narcissistic people will try to find some way to victimize themselves, to make themselves out to be the victim in these situations. Yeah, I cheated. But you know how much it hurt me to cheat? And now I got to come face my wife and to have her knowing I got a baby outside of this marriage or whatnot and doing this and doing that. But, y'all, it, it, get, it gets... <laughs> just listen. Just listen. Still, I'm still... Me and my man, me and my wife, we still rocking. Like I'm, I'm surviving. It's well, tough. She's, she's overcoming. Well, she definitely is. You obviously did something you weren't supposed to do. I think you need to learn how to exceed and excel as a husband. So tell me how you're exceeding, excelling as a husband. As a husband. Listen to this. I can use multiple examples, but for one, I'll, I'll say one. I most recently did. My wife, she didn't even realize I was doing it. One day, one day I just randomly sent her. I always sent my things is blue hearts. Sent her a blue heart. Blue like, babe, good morning. On my morning text. Next day, love you, babe. Two hearts. Next day, love you, babe. I saw, I caught myself sending her just like three, three random hearts. And I said to myself, oh. Oh. Let me see how long I could go on with this heart. Like, every day I'm going to add an extra heart. I want to see how long, like, how, this, and this was, this real talk, like, little, little tactics, and I said, let me see if I could finish this thing throughout the year, into the new year, right? Oh, long story short, I messed up, right? Went 21 days, I felt, I, I don't know about you, boy, I felt good about 21 hours, like, straight, everything good, no arguments, no disagreements. So his way, the example he gave of stepping up was sending blue heart emojis, like one for each additional day. So he got up to 21 hearts, 21 blue hearts, and then he messed up. I feel like a lot of narcissistic people, toxic people, will do that, y'all. They will do just enough to get back into your good graces. And if you're not trying to hold them accountable and they feel like things are going okay, then they'll just give up. They'll just stop. We're back fine, aren't we? I went 21 days with no arguing, no fussing, so we should be okay, shouldn't we? They expect that if you forgive them, you have to heal on their schedule. You know, you have to heal on my time. 21 days, no arguing, no fussing. We good. But you have to spend the rest of your life or the rest of this marriage or the rest of your relationship taking care of this child you had outside of wedlock. Now, be realistic. Most narcissistic people will not forgive you for what they won't forgive you if you did the same thing to them that they do to you. You see what I'm saying? Like, if you go out here and cheat to have a baby by somebody else, you think that they, they would stay and just be like, I got you. You know, you got, you got your lick back. So let's, we, we, we even, we, we even. Now you got to see me 22 blue hearts. You know what I mean? So this is the full podcast right here. It's called 21 Blue Hearts. It's over on YouTube. And this is the YouTube page. It's his own right here at Real Social Proof right here. I, I had, to, yeah, I had to search long and hard because a lot of people are doing it in that video. I just didn't know who original video it was. But this is the page right here with the full interview at Real Social Proof. So check it out.